Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of BGC Dreams. There are now only three days left until the soft opening of the Mitsukoshi Mall. I'm happy to be joined here today with my brother Tony. And for fun, we're going to take a trip down memory lane all the way back to 2018 when we first learned about the Mitsukoshi Mall, its development, and ultimately what convinced us to buy a property here in Uptown BGC. Right now, we're actually standing next to the Metro Bank Tower, which is next to the Grand Hyatt Hotel. And let me tell you, there's a lot of things going on up there in the Mitsukoshi Mall area. There's a lot of noise and commotion, so we're sure there's gonna be a lot of things to see. So are you guys ready? Stay tuned. Let's go. First tower, the Sunshine Port, that faces the Hyatt will be finished in 2023. So the next one will be a year after, then a year after, then a year after. So we might get an unblocked view for like three years or something. I don't know. <laughs> so it's really crazy for me to believe that it's been over four years since we first walked down this path and found out that there was actually a new mall under development by Federal Land. Tony, do you remember at the time what you were thinking when you decided to look for a unit in the uptown area? Well, we just wanted something that was, you know, up and coming, you know, new construction. And, you know, it was it was good that it was like next to Uptown Mall. And they just said more stuff is coming. More stuff is coming. So we just figured like, you know, this is the only undeveloped area that's left in BGC. So it made sense to uh, try it out and hope for the best. So for context, for those of you who are watching, you know, it's just crazy again to think back four years ago. And all we really had up here at the time was the Uptown Mall and Uptown Parade, right? That I mean, that, that's pretty much the only thing uh, drawing people to that's the area. Really, that's the only reason why you would come to Uptown. And just on the information, basically, that Federal Land was building this new shopping mall, for us, it was already kind of enough to convince yeah, two us. Two malls, why not? <laughs> yeah, to pull the trigger in BGC. I guess you could say never in my wildest dreams did I think the area would kind of yeah, just turn out like turn this. Out like this. I mean, and of all the malls they chose, it was a Japanese mall, right? So. Yeah. We actually found properties to purchase and we kind of signed the agreement, right, Kuya? Before we actually found out that Mitsukoshi was moving in right here. And before we knew Landers was going to be downstairs. <laughs> yeah, we, we had no clue that there would be a Landers in the I area. Know. It really solidifies and kind of cements the whole idea that Uptown BGC is kind of the place to be. Yeah, Randy's Donuts is here now. And with all that said, let's see what's in store for us with T-minus three days left until the soft launch opening of the Mitsukoshi Mall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and now we are standing here at the corner of 36th Street and 7th Avenue. It looks like a lot of things are going on back there. You can kind of see more of the fencing has been removed, so the public can actually see kind of more what's behind the curtain again. And there's only three days left, really, until the soft launch, so I really hope they can get everything that needs to be done on time. Woohoo! Three more days and Mendo Coro time! Yes! We're now at the front entrance. You can see from behind me that it's still super busy here as well. It's nice to see that the Mitsukoshi sign is now free and clear and there's no more scaffolding around it. In terms of the pavement and sidewalk, there still appears to be quite a bit of work remaining. So hopefully they'll be able to get it completed in three days. With each passing day, we're just trying to extract a little bit more and more information. It's really cool, I think, that you can actually peer inside now. You can see all the lights and some of the stores.
And look, Tower 3 of the season's residences is on the rise. So we have a lot of viewers on BGC Dreams who are investors, and I'm no different. I started off as an investor myself. And one thing people like to ask is, um, what's kind of your forecast and thoughts on appreciation in Uptown BGC? And I guess the only thing I can really say is, if you're in an area where there's just so much energy and electricity, it, it just kind of speaks for itself. And lastly, I'm standing here at 36th Street and 8th Avenue, and this is by far the craziest part for today. You can see that the entire road has been closed. So the one thing I do worry about with all this development is the traffic and what those conditions will be like, not only for the soft launch, but in the more long-term future, once the Mitsukoshi Mall is fully completed. Because there's just gonna be so much traffic that's gonna be trying to get in and out of this area. And with all that said, I hope you guys really enjoyed the update for today. There's so much going on with only three days left until the soft launch of the Mitsukoshi Mall. We'll see you guys again tomorrow. Hopefully there'll be some more interesting unveilings to show you. Until the next vlog update, thank you guys for tuning in and ingat.